Hey guys and welcome to my new YouTube video. So in this video, I'm doing another festive Christmas collab. So you've already seen a collab that I've done with Indy. You've seen a collab that I've done with Donnie. You've seen several collabs I've done with Tara, with Rianne, with Lee. But in this video, I have one of my online YouTube friends who I've never met in real life before, who I just know from the online world, and we are gonna be doing another special collab. Now in this video, I pretty much just said to him, right, send me five questions, five questions about Christmas, and I would do my absolute best to answer them. So what he's done is he has sent me five questions to answer. I've got them in front of me here. Without further ado, I'm gonna introduce him and wait for him to tell you the task that I've been set. Come on. Come on. Ha ha! I've done it. Brandon, I've hacked into your channel with this Xbox controller that is also unplugged. So Brandon, if you want your YouTube channel back, you're going to have to go through the Trials of Glufflubham, also known as Five Questions About Christmas. And if you fail to answer a single one of them, no Christmas dinner for you. Why is this pointing so high? So high up. First question. What is your favourite thing to do on Christmas Day? Question one, as you just heard him say, is what is my favourite thing to do on Christmas Day? Now, I haven't spent any Christmases away from home. Like, every single Christmas I've had was either at home with my parents, or with my nan, or with my friends. So I've always been somewhere with my family. Obviously, open my presents, have a nice roast dinner because that's a nice thing to do to get away from the university and the stress. I think opening presents, having a nice meal. And I think just catching up on YouTube because over Christmas there's going to be a lot of people posting Christmas related content. There's going to be vlogs, there's going to be videos, there's going to be collaborations and it's just going to be a matter of catching up with all of that. So favourite things to do, presents, food and YouTube. Second question. What is your ideal Christmas dinner? So question two is what is my ideal Christmas dinner? Now, usually, I would just say, I don't know, just whatever the normal Christmas dinner is, but I know that there are certain variations and different variations of a Christmas dinner. So I think for me, the perfect one would be either chicken or lamb. Um, I haven't really got a preference. I'd probably prefer chicken over lamb, but either or would do just fine. Yorkshire puddings, roast potatoes, vegetables, so green beans, broad beans, butter beans, even baked beans would be fine. Brussels sprouts, if they've got and then gravy. That's the make or break. The gravy is the make or break, and the Yorkshire puddings, it's sort of, it's nice to have them there, but if they're not there, it's fine. I'm not missing out on much. Oh, and sausage in blankets as well. Little bits of sausage wrapped around in bacon. In the oven, little bit crispy. That's peng. Third question. What is the best Christmas memory you have? The greatest one. I want to hear the, the most wholesome, enjoyable Christmas memory I've ever heard in my life. Number three is what is my best Christmas memory ever. Now, I don't know, because Christmas only happens like once a year, and it's pretty much the same thing every year, I don't know if there's a, a best Christmas um, memory. It's not the best Christmas memory, it's probably the worst Christmas memory, but it was very, very funny. Last year, back in 2018, when I attempted to do, well, no, back in 2017, actually, when I attempted to do Vlogmas, and I vlogged for like two days or something, and um, went back home, saw my nan, was vlogging on Christmas Day, and, uh, I was joking, saying I f like I forgot to get my nana a Christmas present. Haha, <laughs> like it's a joke. Like it's in, it's in the room in the bedroom, and then I realised I actually forgot to buy my nan a Christmas present. So I was opening my presents, blah blah blah, and she was like, "Oh, so it's my turn now." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, obviously." So I got her a Christmas card, fine, and I was like, "Oh, like I've forgotten to get you a Christmas gift," and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm so stupid." So I put that in the vlog, and then I was like, actually, know you what? Let's not put that in the vlog because it's a little bit rude. It's a little bit weird. And uh, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I forgot to buy Nana a Christmas present. So I ended up going out buying flowers, chocolates and everything like that, and it was actually okay. So it wasn't really the best Christmas memory, it was just a very, very funny one, which makes it the best one. So that's my answer for that question. Fourth question. If you could add a new tradition to Christmas, what would it be? The fourth question that he sent me and asked me to answer is, if, if there was going to be a new tradition, what would I like it to be? I really don't know. I don't really know what traditions there actually are already. I think what he means by tradition is the things that people generally already do at Christmas time. So leaving the carrot and milk out for Santa and co. 
um, opening presents on Christmas Day, I don't know, sitting down and like celebrating all the new year together with a drink or whatever, like it's a traditional thing. It's just the normal thing that everyone does every single year. If there was to be a new tradition, I don't know. Maybe having like a compulsory like Christmas film night or something where you get to bring a few mates round or you get to just hire out a hall and then you and your group of friends just go and watch like three, four, five films, like a little marathon sort of thing. Pretty tradition, but like it could be a tradition of just friends doing frenzy stuff. Final question. You've done well so far, but let's see you answer this one. Can you make a Christmas song? Last one's more of a challenge, you know, I figured I'd end it on a bang, see what you come up with. Uh, just blag it if you need to, not too fussed. And the final question, well the final thing that he wants me to do is make a little Christmas song. So, what I prepared earlier is a little notepad, well it's not a notepad, it's like a piece of paper, with my little song on. So I need to get a beat and then I will sing the song. I woke up today, it's the 1st of December, I've got 23 more days, I'm not even going to remember. I'm waiting for Santa to bring my gifts, I've been a good boy, not too many bad whiffs. C to the R to the M to the S, I've told you some letters, the elves will send the rest. Wake up on the 25th, the carrot is gone, the milk's done bits and now back to the song. I woke up today, it's the 1st of January, 11 more months to Christmas, oh man. Didn't rhyme that little last bit, but yeah, there we go. Well done. You've answered my five questions. I shall return your channel to you. To be honest, I don't know what I would have done with it anyway. Probably just would have been logged on. Liked all of my videos. The Unfitting Key. YouTube.com slash The Unfitting Key. <sighs> the Unfitting Key. I'm not trying to plug my own channel on your channel, don't be silly. Why would I tell people that they can go watch my videos on the unfitting key? Right now. After they finish this one. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. A massive thank you to the unfitting key for being in another one of my videos. Not only has he been in one massive collaboration, not only have we done a four part collaboration together, but we've also done a Christmas video together. It did take a long time to actually get the idea prepared and to get the actual idea like fully ready to go. But I think it turned out really, really well. And just one massive thank you again for being a part of this video. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Unfitting Key as well. His link's in the description. He did promote it a lot and enough. So I'm sure you do know where to go and find him. But I find it really, really funny. Like he can promote himself as much as he wants because he is a great person. Bye.